Good afternoon. Today is Friday, December 17th, and I wanted to take a few minutes to make some announcements as we prepare for the fourth Sunday of Advent and, of course, the great Feast of Christmas in the next few days. First, a word about where I'm standing. I'm here in the rectory at St. John the Baptist and so grateful uh, to have such a beautiful home to live in, grateful to Father Capitani and for all of you and this opportunity to address you this way, to speak to the Advent season as we prepare to light the final candle on our wreath this Sunday and look ever closer to the great feast of Christmas. Certainly one of the things that strikes us about the Advent season is how we anticipate, how we prepare ourselves for the closeness of the Lord and his willingness to come right into the midst of our lives, no matter how they look or how beautiful they are. Our manger scenes, and certainly this one, gives us a chance to meditate on the willingness of Christ to be poor with us, to be vulnerable and tender, to spend time with us. In these next few days, as we prepare our homes, it's my hope as well that we will prepare our hearts to receive Christ and to allow him, just as a baby does, to change our lives. I have a few notes here so that we stay on point, but in these final days before Christmas, know of my prayers for you, my gratitude, and of course, my need for your prayers as we continue forward. Our Advent Parish Penance Service is Monday, December 20th at 7 p.m. There'll be a brief prayer service and then the opportunity for all to receive individually the Sacrament of Confession Reconciliation. We'll have a group of local priests coming in to assist, Father Cavender and I, and so we look forward to seeing you there. Of note, this will be our last opportunity, Monday evening, December 20th, to receive the Sacrament of Confession before Christmas. Our Christmas schedule is robust. On Christmas Eve, Friday, December 24th, we have Mass at 4 p.m., 4.15, 6, 8, and 10 p.m. The 4.15 Mass will be at the Historic Church the other Christmas Eve Masses and all of our Christmas Day Masses will be in our main church. And again, those are 4, 6, 8, and 10 p.m. in the main church. On Christmas Day, Saturday, December 25th, Mass will be at 9 a.m. and at 11 a.m. We will live stream the 4 p.m. and the 9 a.m. Masses and certainly hope that you and your family find one of these times to be convenient for you. The Holy Family Sunday Mass schedule uh, is as follows. We will not have afternoon confessions and we will not have our 5 p.m. Mass on Saturday, December 25th, an opportunity for the priest to get home and see their parents on Christmas. We will follow the normal Sunday morning schedule on Sunday, December 26th, as we celebrate the Feast of the Holy Family of Nazareth. And that schedule is, of course, 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., and 11 a.m. A final word, there have been some questions in recent weeks, especially with all that's happening locally, and um, as folks continue to return to church, to give thanks to God, and to receive the sacraments. The COVID protocols are set by the Diocese of Harrisburg, and in August we received a letter from Bishop Gaynor, as well as some subsequent directives from the Diocese of Harrisburg, encouraging and inviting all to return to Mass as it is safe and appropriate. Certainly those who are sick, or if you are awaiting a COVID test, are dispensed from coming to Mass on Sunday and Holy Days both as a prudent act for yourself so that you can recover and out of charity for all who are here. Anyone is welcome to wear a face mask while in church, although it is not required 
when you attend Mass. There are some regulations for clergy and liturgical ministers for our parish liturgies. And we do hope that you find the space in our atrium or church to be welcoming. There are greeters and ushers at the door to help direct you if you've forgotten a face mask or would like to use one of our hand sanitizing stations. Certainly we continue to pray for the end of the COVID pandemic, the health and recovery of those who are sick and suffering, our frontline workers, especially our doctors and nurses, but all involved in caring for the sick these days and those who mourn the death the loss of someone who has died in these months, nearly two years that we have faced this. I look forward to seeing all of you for Christmas and in these days, final days of Advent, know of my continued prayers for you, and I ask, please, pray for me. Thanks and God bless. <laughs>